Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling's Fire Promoter Mode. Uh, what are we in now? Are we in the fourth month? I think we're in the fourth month. So we're in April. We're in April in year one. We are still very, very low down on the totem pole. Uh, but we need to try and find ourselves somebody to hire. You know, we need to try and bulk out this roster a bit. So I want to see like who we've got here. It's we are a showman company, aren't we? So Danhausen is an option, but he might still be a little bit expensive for us. AJ, again, might be a little bit expensive for us. They're both about the same price, shockingly. And Biss is an option, but he's hardcore, so he might not take it. Andrew Everett. It's the wrong Andrew Everett, so I'm not so bothered. Uh, I think I've said that multiple times before. Is that my Batista? That's my Batista. So he's strong style, though. He is S-ranking. So, he's, a, he's considerable. The world's largest big show. Not that, not that there's a, a second big show or anything, but he's the world's largest big show. Uh, Bret Hart could be an option. Again, he's strong rather than anything else. But And we are in Europe, so we do have to take that into consideration. Another strong style, Brian Danielson. He's a possibility. Don't really want Bully Ray. Uh... Who are we thinking? Who are we thinking for this? I can't remember if I said in a previous episode there was anyone particular that I wanted this time. Venom could be an option. Um, I've got multiple Farouks. Farouk, Farouk, or Farouk. I do also have a Ron Simmons that I've created. I don't know if he's in the list yet. He is in the in mode. I have added him. Ugh, don't really want the Hulkster. Uh, ooh, Jeff Hardy might be a good shout. I'm tempted to take Jeff. Jeff's top of my list at the minute. Jeff's top of the list. The Trumpets! John Cena, but he is, again, not... He's a bit maybe out of the league. Gargano. Moxley would be good. But, again, Moxley very expensive. He's S-rank. Uh, he's S-rank in America. Uh, and B's all the rest of the way around. Do we try him? Do we tr I feel like Moxley's the shout. I feel like Moxley's the way to go. Do we go for our first S rank? He's going to be expensive as all hell. Oh, I think we I want to try it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Well, they don't hate us. That I can say for sure. Negotiations require uh, 1,500 to begin. Well, let's go for it. Okay. Down the middle. Down the middle feels right. I think we feel we can afford down the middle. I'm not sure we can afford that. We can't afford 30 grand on the uh, on the uh, the the signing bonus, but I think we can maybe afford 15. Mox, be kind, my man. Come and join us. Join a ship that's rising. Come on, Moxley. Get on board while it's still still low down. You can be you can be the face of the company. He's in. Moxley is in. Let's have a look. Who we got baby faces wise and heels. Right, so we're equal. Moxley could fit in either. Or shall we leave Moxley as no affiliate so he's a tweener? I think we leave Moxley as a tweener. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine people on the roster. Is anybody like worn out at the minute? Uh, Jack Howard's in poor health so he might need a month off. Normal David Houston needs a month off. Thomas Walker, Bill Bullock. So one, two, uh, three, four need a month off. So half of our roster needs a month off, realistically. So we can get, like, one match, two matches, two and a half matches. Uh, so we definitely need to hire some... Well, we, we need somebody on a one-night deal. I feel we need somebody on a one-night deal. So let's have a look at an invite. And since we're based in Europe, it's better to look in Europe. Pax worked for us before. I feel Pax has worked for us before, so maybe he'll do it on another one-night deal. Yeah, okay, he's agreed. Pax done it on another one-nighter. Let's book our show, I guess. We've only, we're have only we only going to be able to get, like, three, maybe four matches, but let's try it. Right, I want to book opener first this time. So, in our opener, we won... Oh, crazy... St 
Eve maybe against Mickey Williams? Let's try it. Crazy Steve and Mickey Williams in the opener. Second match. Uh, Matt Robinson. Big Matt. Big M. Big Matthew. Taking on Pat. Skip pack is purple. Uh, and title match for the main Big Bear and Moxley. That feels like the shout. Big Bear and Moxley. Uh, we can't get anybody else, can we? Because we're a bit low down. Jack Howard is poor. David Houston is poor. Thomas Walker is poor. Bill Bullock is poor. So they all need months off. So that's the best we're going to get. So we're going to have to lower this to 20 to get a full house. If we want to keep the small hall. If we go medium, how far off? Oh, fucking miles away. Uh, right, so small hall, 20, social media, Charles Robinson, or do we have any other refs? Uh, Charles Robinson's the way to go. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, ooh, yeah, we're going normal uh, PTW rules. Okay. I think we're... That feels, that feels like a good shout. Or do we want to swap anybody around? He, no, I want to put Pac there. Pac needs to be in the middle. He can't be the opener because he, he's less likely to show up if he's the opener. He's much more likely to show up there if he's uh, mid-card or higher. If Pac does well for us here, he's realistically saved our ass. So we're going to want to hire him. <laughs> or, or definitely offer him the opportunity. I feel like, have we done that before? I think we have, didn't we? We tried to we tried to get him to sign last month, and he turned us down. But he offered, he did do this deal. He did do a one night deal again. That seems somewhat familiar. Either way, we're we're good. We're in. We're in. I've confirmed. Uh, merch. Let's have a look at merch. We're definitely going to want to do more of these. These are all good. Do we want to branch out any further? T-shirts? T-shirts feel like a good shout as always. Let's go T-shirts. Let's do more T-shirts. Because I feel like T-shirts are good. We've still got 696 in terms of goods. Just generic goods. And we still have 401 towels. Uh, sales are flying, so they like those. Sales aren't so hot of the goods. Um, but... I feel we can keep the goods for now. Can we do anything else with the training centre? Oh, it's a bit expensive at the minute. It's a bit expensive at the minute. We've done merch. Merch is good. Everybody's happy, I believe. Let's do a quick save ski before we go in. Save's all good. Right. We're going in, folks. We're trying it. Here we go. April event. Pack, don't let us down, my man, please. Pack, don't let us down, my man. Yes, he's shown up. Okay. Okay, Mickey Williams and Crazy Steve, we are skipping. Since there's only three matches, I think we can get away with watching how many? One or two, do we think? I think because of Southview, we'll go just the one tonight. Crazy Steve with the king kill. He manages to put away Mickey Williams. 85%. Good match. Good match. Pack and Matt Robinson. How are you guys going to do? Are you going to tear the house down? Are you going to tear the house down, guys? We are skipping your match, I know. But Pack, I am counting on you. And Matt Robinson, I'm counting on you. 86%. And Pack gets the victory. And the guard, so that's going to be the brutalizer, isn't it? Pack taps out Matt Robinson. I feel like next month we've got to give Pack another shot. But here's the big one, folks. John Moxley in his debut here is taking on Big Bear for the championship world title on the line. Of course we're watching it. We have to watch at least one match every show. It's it's the rules. Dem's the rules. I was about to say I don't make them, but I did make them. Here we go, ref rings the bell, Moxley squaring up to the bear. Bear already shooting for a takedown. Is Moxley going to walk out here as champion? If you notice, Moxley has a new face on him. 
I uh, I got a new head render for Moxley. Um, I went on the uh, the network thing here and found another part for Moxley's head, and I thought this one looked better. So I repl it's the same Moxley creation of mine. All I've done is swap the head. That's all I've done. Swap the head and gave. Uh, I've replaced his shield outfit with just straight up jeans. Um, but everything else is the same. It's the, I've given him a few more custom moves though. I've given. I tweaked the the Moxley creation a little bit. He now has a bulldog choke in there. He now has a couple more variations on lariats. He's got a few more of his moves. Bear hug already though for Big Bear. I decided what I do after after PTW. Um, the normal EFED series that I've got running is now season one is now over after Man Overboard. I decided what I do is I tweak a couple more of the creations. I get a few more people created as well. I've created people like uh, like FTR are now created. Uh, I've got, went on the community things to look at some moves. Oh, pile driver from Oxford to the Bear. I say I went to look at some of the uh, the created moves to see if there's anything cool that I could add to people. I found a couple of things for Moxley, like I said, like the bulldog choke, like his rebound lariat, a few more variations on lariats, like he does. Um, I also found some like comedy style moves to add to people, with the likes of the Joker and Danhausen and such. So there's a few things that have been tweaked that you'll probably see some in this series you'll probably see some in series 2 of PTW when that comes in a couple of weeks time oh see there's one, another one of the moves that I found that's in the strike exchange that brutal forearm oh big claw on the face from the bears trying to tap Moxley out Mox can he slip out the back door he can Moxley hook it up big front drop kick takes the bear down these are definitely going to be two of the top people that we're going to be building this uh, building this promotion around here in promoter mode. Moxley and the Bear. This could be the big feud. This could be the big feud of the company. You know, well, every company builds itself around one specific feud after a while. Uh, that tends to be the one that defines the company. For example, like WWE's, you, know, you think of the big feud that there has been in WWE. You think of Austin McMahon or Austin Rock. It kind of They kind of coincide as one feud, so to speak. Um, but that's always the big one that the company is built around. You know, it's the one that people think of first when they think of that company. Usually, I'm not sure if AEW has had that yet. But you know, there's always a big, there's the big feud. This could be our company's big feud. The bear hug though already from the bear trying to take Moxie down. I'm saying it could be this company's big feud. We don't know yet. This could end up being a god awful match. Although paradigm shift, maybe it isn't. Moxley are not able to come back in time. Hooked up, he's thrown off the ropes. Bear with a big overhead paw strike. Waiting on Moxley to get back to his feet. Moxley's back up. Goes for the MOX. The Bear sidestepped him. Although he's caught in a pile driver. Cover from Mox. One, two. Kick out from the Bear. Goes for a front drop kick again. Doesn't connect. Moxley throw into the corner, the bear marches in. Oh, Mox sidesteps him, goes up top, elbow drop. Diving elbow. It's square on the bear's chest. Bear's back to his feet though. Oh, goes back to the bear hug again. Moxley's very close to those ropes, but he's not grabbing them, somewhat surprisingly. Mox hooks up. Bear shot to the ribs to take him down. Bear's going up top, that's always dangerous. Nice sent off from the bear. Takes a minute to catch his breath. Marks up. Oh god, the paw strikes. Do they count as palms? With the paws. Big overhead. The bear now. Thinking off the ropes. Thinking splash. But Mox is back to his feet first. Hooked up. Mox goes behind. He's going for the bulldog. He's going for the bulldog. He's got it. Bulldog chokes the bear. And he choked the bear out. No, bear slips out of it. Shot to the ribs. Of course, obviously, we've said it a million times when you see bear matches. Stamina is bear's biggest problem. The longer matches go, the harder it is for the bear. He has to do as much damage as he possibly can, as quickly as he possibly can. That diving center off the top might do it. Two. 2.9, and Moxley just survived it. Mox figured Death Rider. Death Rider to the bear. Have we got a new world champ? One. Two. 
Oh, 2.9. So dangerously close. Marks his throw through. It's bare. Oh, you might have been thinking spear, but he didn't. Went for just a straight up body check to Marks. Marks taking his time to get up. Looks up, Marks goes behind. He's thinking bulldog choke again. He's got him. Powered down. Bulldog choke from Moxley. The bear again survives it. Slipping out from the grip. Off the ropes. Bear might be thinking. Spear. No, again, just body checks him. And running splash. One. Two. Through. Oh, I thought Bear had retained. Oh, you saw Bear was clutching there. His ribs. Bear is tired. Mox took full advantage of a huge lariat. The bear does overhead pull tracks. So Mox ramming the elbow into Bear's face. Headbutt. Mox is up. MOX. Mox did that jumping cutter. Moxley hits one of the best cutters going. There's no doubt. Bear just press slam Moxley. And he's taking a second to catch his breath. Smart move from the bear. Because we know what Bear's biggest issue is. It goes back to the bear hook. Oh, Moxley got his feet in the ropes. Oh, Bear now biting at Moxley's head. One thing you don't want to do is bust Moxley open. He just gets pissed off. And Moxley somehow is not busted open after that. Oh, Moxley was sizing up for another MOX. The Bear just swatted him away. That was just disrespectful from the Bear. Mox going for it again and again. The Bear just swatted him away. Bear mounts him. Mounted strikes. Mox is covering up. I think he's done it. I think the Bear just powdered Moxley into submission. Big Bear retains the PTW World Championship. Who in the hell is going to stop the Bear? Who is going to do it? Is anyone going to be able to step up and stop Big Bear? Moxley was not able to do it. 96%. Rightly so. It was a hell of a match. Title defense. Oh, Mox with a hell of a debut. Hell of a debut there. Almost had it. To say that we had half our roster was like on the verge of injury. I think we did pretty damn well there. We got a sellout. We got a sellout. Did we make any money? That is the big question because obviously we spent a fair bit on Moxley. Um, but we did have, you know, we spent a bit on Pac as well to get him there for a show. Just letting these things play out so we know roughly what's going on. Is that amazing? Red has won the junior title. Did I see as well that Otis might have won a championship? Okay, so the Tekken championship has changed hands. Don't know who got it. Mustafa Ali and Kid Bandit are tag team champions. Okay, it looks like we're Deadpool has won a championship. We made money. We nearly made 10 grand. Nice. I like how the expenses were 60, but the income was 69. <laughs> nice. So close. Okay, everybody's got tournaments on this month. Early May is the uh, the tournament month. Oh, your promotion was featured in American Magazine, boosting our popularity. Crazy Steve was also on an American comedy show, live from New Jersey. It pulled solid ratings. Nice, our guys are making waves. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you, everybody, so much for joining me in this one. It has been a genuine pleasure, as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill by now, all the fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.